to Zaja and I'm a secondary one student from BrainWorks K-12 Integrated School. Today I'll be presenting about technology in real life. STEM Science, technology, engineering, and math are the fundamental necessities in becoming a successful person in this competitive world. Let us take a quick peek at the future. Technologies are exciting yet challenging. Now let's move on to the global fields. Now we're at a really important point, education. For a better future for every nation, we need to focus on our children since they are going to be our future leaders. But we can't keep on learning like we did in the past anymore due to the changes in this world. And where are they heading as they grow up? to a hyper-connected world with more people and fewer resources. A busy and competitive world full of uncertainties. A workforce that is more mobile and better qualified than ever before. And careers that span multiple jobs, positions and skill sets, some of which haven't been invented yet. In response, education leaders are making big changes, building 21st century skills, using enabling technologies and personalising learning to engage students in diverse and creative ways. To face these changes, we need to change our education system. Let us take a peek at our future classroom. a reality. This is when STEM comes to use. Not only strengthening knowledge, STEM also builds necessary skills such as leadership skills. Technologies are making our learning systems much better. We all need proper nutrition for a healthy lifestyle. To make farming more effective and efficient, we now use advanced machines. Let us view a grape harvesting machine. is starting to become a huge problem. Fortunately, technology can solve this problem too. China has been working on a transit elevated bus for less traffic. Uh, In our nation, we also have remarkable technologies. I have conducted some interviews with those who provide technological services. I went to interview the deputy chief engineer of Myanmar Advanced Solution. Even in our developing country in Myanmar, we have quite advanced CCTV systems. There's also the door security access control system that makes our lives safer and protected. Let's watch the video. Health is a very important part of our society. 
We need advanced technology to cure diseases. Normal x-rays aren't very specific nor efficient, but fortunately, we have more advanced systems like the CT scan. I went to Bohosi's hospital to inquire about the CT scan. Let's watch it. But here in Lima, we have one to eight slides. That's actually a um, quite advanced technology. AMD Softcom is a company that writes software systems. This has made all types of work more effective and efficient. They also make online shopping websites to sell their products. <laughs> Car parking is really related to traffic, and considering our country's heavy traffic jams, we need better car parking systems. Hopefully, we have an amazing mechanical automatic car parking system in Sakura Tower. I also have many valuable memories that couldn't occur without STEM. When I went to Hong Kong with my family, we ordered tickets online and booked the hotel room. Secondly, I also went to educational places such as Science Museum. This engagement was made possible due to Quant technology. Last but not least, rides at the amusement parks require advanced systems for safety and entertainment. Here we go. Not disappoint at all. All right, here we go. Our school, we're using STEM related programs such as Alexis for Math, Saint for Math and Science, McGraw Hill for English, Fast Forward for Basic Skills, and Reading Mastery for Comprehension and Fluency. countries, governments have been valuing STEM for the past 60 years and will continue to do so. is a very useful and valuable tool in all fields, especially in this era. As an individual, as a nation, and as part of this world, we shall work hard and we shall work smart by using these valuable technologies. The world leaders are also very keen about innovation and higher education with technologies. We belong on the cutting edge of innovation. That's an idea as old as America itself. We're a nation of tinkerers and dreamers and believers in a better tomorrow. Education is the foundation of human dignity. 